Hey guys, Scott again, Aussie Cruiser build. Uh, Cruiser's going along well. This video we're going to cover off on the rear fuselage, uh, flight controls going in, and we make a start on the forward fuselage. Thanks. So just a quick one. I've been, um, I just went through, sounds silly, but um, with the tackle boxes, I just glued down all the, all the, um, the petitions, if you like this is all nicely numbered let you know where everything is but the petitions come up and parts tend to migrate um, left and right and under the walls and when you're looking for a dash 4 or a dash 5 there's a subtle difference so anyway that just saves me a bit of time so just sorted out my two tackle boxes which are the uh, hardware box and the finishing kit hardware box one's the airframe box so yeah that's all good um, in the shed, it's a nice day, got the door open, wings are sitting there. I've done some painting, so the uh, maybe your aileron control rod. Got the push rods down there, they've come up really nice, uh, ready to install. Got my plans and my library going well. A few parts hanging up here, the seat, uh, seat pan brackets, I think they are. And some part, next parts over here. This is the channel that goes over the um, the banana slot for the flapper on control, and just working on the working my way out of the fuselage, building the baggage, the baggage compartment. So with the baggage compartment, I've um, put in put in this mixer arm, I think it's called, and the flap motor. Flap motor's in with this bracket. It's gone in nicely, and. Uh, temporary done up at the moment the adjustment will be there I've got this secured and split pinned at this end so it can slightly rotate um, I think you're only talking a matter of degrees so I've rigged that up <clears throat> temporary rigged it up at the moment so from the horizontal it goes up caught 10 or 15 degrees and it goes down 10 or 15 degrees um, I mucked around with these little parts quite a bit uh, two or three goes just to get that right in the end I put on the whole assembly to get it nice and square in there. Also with these are uh, the bearing support brackets. On the back it sits on a vertical L angle. There's a little, I'll notice on other people's aircraft as well, if you sort of get everything centered over the holes um, and leave it as is, it, it, pull, it, it sort of pulls in and it'll crinkle the, um, the L angle. Not a biggie so I just I took it back out about three or four times and took about a sixteenth of an inch off the back of the bearing support bracket and ran, beveled the edge as well just to match the curve of the L angle um, in behind this vertical L angle you can see running up there so it sits nice and flush now just all the little things also on here um, the Teflon so I got these on last night this is the bell crank obviously the main drive will come in here and out to your um, to your ailerons and or flapperons and the Teflon they are square blocks but I rounded them off just to make it look nice so um, got both of those in and working nicely and yeah so working my way out now now I slowly build the um, center console and the like the rear baggage compartment as I work my way out one thing I did notice I guess the access for the hell hole didn't realize but the baggage wall there is almost in the center of that hole I sort of envisioned standing up in that hole but I think you have to climb in and lean towards the back or just have your head in to work at the front there but anyway it's um, all looking good going well I've uh, riveted the top skin apart from the baggage rear baggage wall and obviously some work to go work at the rear of the fuselage so next step I put in some control rods. One other thing I had, I guess these um, were a consideration. These pieces here, which covers your flapper on control rod with a little L angle on the bottom, sits in there nicely and it'll join up when the fuselage, when that uh, horizontal comes through, horizontal L angle. Um, what I did notice just at the top one of those rivets actually sits right where this wants to sit so you either tuck it in tight behind or stretch it out over the rivet um, it's actually 
It's actually just one on the laundry line, I think. Uh, if you square it all up, it sort of wants to sit right on that rivet. But anyway, I'm the builder after all, so we make a few changes as we go. I think we get a bit spoiled with the um, uh, the work that Zenith puts in, so you do have to make your own decisions and make a couple of little, little fine tuning adjustments, I guess. One problem I did highlight or keeps coming up so this 3mm steel plate um, the skin was already drilled to 532nd and the plates didn't have any holes in it whatsoever so it's really hard to sort of would have been great if the skin was just pilot hold and you have a few of those times where once again I guess you know complaining about dirty diamonds um, if they were both pilot hold it would be great and nice and easy sort of struggle a bit when say the skin is final size hole drilled and another part is pilot hold um, it's sort of a bit of a mismatch so you either um, pre-drill it before installation or try and match them up as you do but um, yeah apart from that we're going well all right I got the uh, control rods in just temp fitted obviously the adjustment there later on you can do some pre preliminary um, setups I believe these need to be horizontal also got the, the channel on and what a relief put some just a bit of relief there for that rivet because it does the skin does want to naturally sit straight over the top of that one and same on that side so I've just relieved it so it misses the rivet and sits where it wants to sit um, a lot of people have put um, I noticed they put a hole there a dirty great hole there for a socket um, and that's to get to the so here's your control control rod in the banana slot just there um, I don't know 30 years as an airframe fitter if I can't get a crow's foot up in there with the flapper on here as well and do the nut up then I think that's a wasted career so I'm going to take the chance I reckon I can get a spanner or a crow's foot up in there um, as far as inspection goes here's a torch and mirror um, and that prevents or stops me having to have a, a big access hole in the side there. It might catch me out, but we'll see how we go. Progressing along. Okay, progress is progress. Not too many Clecos left in the skin, just the gusset there where I joined the fuselage. Got the controls in, all riveted, down to the, just going to work on the tail tail assembly. These are the mounts for the stab. And up the front, just finished up on the baggage compartment. All finished up for now. Most of it's in. The top, obviously the top panels covers off for now. And I've got a bit of an idea, got a bit of a plan for over in that corner flux capacitor or something going in there but the baggage compartment is done time to move on to the next component once I, I'll just finish up on the um, just work down the back here, probably close up one side leave one side open get these mounted for the, for the tail and the um, you can see where the fin post goes and this will go on the bottom on the bottom on the outside with a uh, tie down point in the middle there Moving along well. Shh! I've got the rear, got the rear fuselage all put to bed. So there we go. Bit of a garage mix around, rear fuselage. Shifted it down there with the wings. And then covered up. And making a start on the last component, probably the major component, forward fuselage and just click going together getting my head around how this all fits together forward fuselage all right guys thanks for that thanks for watching um, basically completed the rear fuselage and going to make a start now on the forward fuselage which should be good so keep watching and we'll get there eventually but it's going well and having a lot of fun thank you